The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot, as well as a few other reasons. Welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could be possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome to a new foes appeared. Today, we are going to talk about a foe that I do think a playstyle like this would be really interesting and I thought I've always wanted to talk about a foe with this specific theme so I thought as possibly the last foe I'm going to talk about from this series I thought to tie in with Carnival in Brazil, I thought it makes sense to talk about this phone now. And with that being said, take a look at this. That right, Lucio from Overwatch is who we are going to talk about today. I understand that Lucio is probably the seventh Overwatch character I've talked about in a new first appearance, but bear in mind, I know a lot about Overwatch and it plays a big part in the channel, so I thought, yeah. This is the last Overwatch foe for now because there is a new foes appeared related announcement I'm ready to make in March, but I'm not going to say what it is yet. But Lucio, why did I pick him? Well, the only reason I picked him was because I'm interested in playing around with different play styles when it comes to a new foes appearing. And that's why I ended up picking Kiriko, Sombra, Wrecking Ball, and Lucio as foes for a new foes appearing. And so, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the attributes, the playstyle I went with Rhythmic DJ, and the stats, the weight of Pikachu, the walk speed of Mario, the initial dash of Fox, the run speed of Sonic, the air speed of Jigglypuff, the fall speed of Link, the size of Captain Falcon, the freeing data of Sheik, the damage of Kirby, the combos of Zero Suit Samus, the KO power of Peach, and the recovery of Pit. For the gimmick, I've always wanted to talk about a music-related fighter in a new foe's appearance. If you don't count Yunarokami, Makoto Yuki, or Cap M, I have considered covering Jet Set Radio on a new foe's appearance, but that decision isn't final yet. And that's why I picked Lucio. Because I've always wanted to talk about a music-related fighter in a new foe's opinion. Because I really love his musical aesthetic. And I'm trying to represent that as much as I can in his Smash Bros moveset. That's why I added my own unique twist to Crossfade compared to his Overwatch counterpart. So my take on Crossfade 
would combine Schultz Monado Arts with Lucio's Crossfade. Of course, he can switch between multiple songs, which each affect Lucio's moveset, similar to his healing and speed boosts in Overwatch. This is so I can stay true to Lucio's musical theme as much as possible within his moveset. Lucio would have six songs to choose from, including... So Lucio's songs would have two being brought over from Overwatch and four originals. So Healing Boost would have a yellow effect and when utilized, Lucio's impact gives him a slight recovery as they hit an opponent. This promotes a more defensive approach to play, helping Lucio remain active for a longer duration in battle. Speed Boost would be green, and whenever this song becomes active, Lucio's movement and attack capabilities improve, allowing him to swiftly take down opponents and apply pressure with fast combos. Damage Boost, which is an original song being in the color of red, and this song increases Lucio's attack power, boosting the impact of each strike. It's ideal for delivering devastating smashes and quickly stacking up damage on opponents. Barrier Boost would be blue, and Lucio would acquire temporary damage reducing shield from this song, thereby improving his ability to take hits against opponents. Disruption Boost would be purple, meaning attacks from Lucio can trigger status effects on objectives, such as slowness, sleep, or stun, that can impact their movements and strategies. And finally, Empowerment Boost would be orange, and this song would increase the range, power, and effectiveness of Lucio's special moves when it triggers them. It allows Lucio to punish opponents via distance and exercise more effective influence on the battlefield. Each track would have its own cooldown timer after use, such as the healing boost being the longest because it's a 2 OP move. I mean, I did that for Kiriko in her moveset when it came to Protection Suzu. And that would drive players to think beforehand and change their strategy according to the situation at hand. Players can unleash the full power of Lucio's musical prowess in battle by mastering timing and execution of each crossfade groove, providing an engaging, dynamic gameplay experience. For his moveset, the neutral special we have Sonic Amplifier. Lucio fires his Sonic Amplifier, blasting out an outburst of short range sound. While pressing the button, users may increase the attack range and increase the damage it does. The side special, we have Sound Barrier. Similar to the ultimate gimmick I've given Kiriko, Sombra and Wrecking Ball, this will apply to Lucio as well, since his ultimate gauge would connect to Sound Barrier. He can start using it from 20% and the effect will increase depending on the percentage. Lucio deploys a protective barrier in front of him, absorbing incoming attacks and providing temporary invisibility to himself and nearby allies. The effectiveness of the barrier increases based on Lucio's ultimate gauge, with percentages resulting in stronger shields. For his up special, it would be Wall Ride. Lucio jumps rapidly and high off the walls next to him to ascend higher onto the platforms or escape from danger. You can use this move to protect your boundaries and improve mobility. 
and for the down special, Lucio has the option to switch between six different songs, each with its own unique colour and effect on his moveset. And if you want more context to how this works, you might want to go to the gimmick timestamp in the description below, so you can get a brief idea on how crossfade works. Because I don't think I need to explain it again. And for his final smash, we have Synesthesia. This would combine Lucio's amp it up ability with Donkey Kong's final smash in Brawl. The final smash would alter an effect depending on the tune selected via crossfade whenever Lucio activated his DJ booth. As seen in the dance party emote for Lucio, Lucio would switch on his DJ booth, immersing himself in a pulsating aura. The final smash would have different impacts corresponding to the song that was selected via crossfade. Healing boost, allies in close range, discover an important rise in health regeneration, speed boost, would have opponents slow down and Lucio's mobility and attack speed would enhance. The damage boost would increase Lucio's attack power and deal more damage. The barrier boost would reduce the damage within a short duration and protect Lucio and his teammates. Disruption boost would change the status effects, including stun, sleep or prevent, which would be given to opponents. An empowerment boost would increase the power range or utility of Lucio's special moves. And with the final smash, Lucio would overpower his opponents with his musical prowess and help his teammates tactically create an incredible show of light and sound. For the alts and the Kirby hat, the palette swaps I went with his design from Overwatch 2 because I do think this can add a bit more personality to Lucio's design when crossfade is used because I don't think anyone's noticed when you play Overwatch 2 that the color of Lucio's dreadlocks changes when crossfade is used which I do think is a fun talk and I do think Lucio's Overwatch 2 design being his standard palette would make sense for that. And I picked his rivet, his rivet skin as his secondary palette swap as a reference to him being a frog themed DJ. So Alt 1 would be blue and green emphasizing on standard Lucio, Alt 2 being Lucio with yellow and green aspects on a rivet skin. Lucio would wear his Overwatch 2 costume with orange and white accents. Alt 4 would have Lucio with details of blue and purple on his rivet skin. Alt 5 would be Lucio with yellow and green demonstrating his Overwatch 2 appearance. Alt 6 would have Lucio in touches of pink and cyan wearing his ribbit skin. Alt 7 would be Lucio in black and gold illustrating his Overwatch 2 design. I did originally pick orange and black but unfortunately because of a specific website I can't talk about which is the reason I changed my channel's branding to purple and orange. I kind of had to change it to black and gold. And Alt 8 would be Lucio in blue and purple wearing his rivet skin. And for the Kirby hat, after inhaling Lucio, Kirby would obtain the iconic headphones and goggles of Lucio and wears his skin being green and the visualizer effect 
would pulse around him, indicating the musical theme for Lucio. For the classic mode route, we have Rhythm of Battle. Round 1 would be Mario, Link and Kirby. Round 2 would be Jigglypuff, Ness and Isabel. Round 3 would be Inkling, Pikachu and Simon. Round 4 would be Zelda, Bayonetta and Wii Fit Trainer. Round 5 would be Captain Falcon, Ganondorf and Ryu. Round 6 would be Pit, Dark Pit and Palatina once all three have been defeated. Bowser, Bowser Jr and King K. Rool will spawn and once them three have been defeated, Meta Knight, King DDD and Kirby will spawn. And the final boss is Master Hand and Crazy Hand. For the amiibo, capturing Lucio's athletic stance, the amiibo would stand tall and he would be shown with his sonic amplifier ready for battle, as well as his unique gear and visor. His vibrant colours would stick out, reflecting his upbeat attitude. I did put a reference image above, but ignore the fact I put a Funko Pop there. That's just there for reference. The amiibo would include light reactive elements incorporated in that react to, to the NFC reader, and these parts would light up in sync to Lucio's music when placed on the appropriate device. A dynamic visual element to the amiibo could potentially be introduced by having the lights change colours and intensity based on the game or interaction. Introducing a visualizer element would enhance the amiibo's music theme capabilities. This might not be a realistic choice, but would be cool. This could indicate a small LED display or projection device built in to the amiibo base. On triggering, the visualizer would respond to sensory input by displaying vibrant colors and waves that correspond to the game's music or nearby audio resources. This feature would promote Lucio's responsibilities as a DJ and musician, as well as being visually pleasing. And for the compatible games, it would only be compatible with one game being Super Smash Bros, where you tap in Lucio to summon a fighter that you can train. For the stage, I picked Paraiso from Overwatch 2 that released in 2022. This colourful Brazilian cityscape, which is set within Lucio's hometown and the iconic club Synesthesia, is bustling with energy and music. The colourful paintings around the city and the samba beat fill the air creating an exciting setting that stimulates spectators in addition to fires. Static stage move and bounce precisely to the beat, offering opportunities for strategic movement and skyward combat. Watch out for Overwatch characters who do make short appearances to add excitement to this thrilling stage, ready to dance to the rhythm of Horizon battle rhythm. For the support fighters, we have Anna. With the capacity to debuff and heal, Anna provides long range support whilst using her biotic rifle and grenades. She can use healing over time effects to teammates or temporarily boost damage output to cl of close fighters. Baptiste with his biotic launcher and exo boots, Baptiste offers flexible support within the battlefield. He possesses the capability to launch healing projectiles to keep those around him well and build immortality fields that protect him against fatal 
attacks. Alari, who I was going to put in there with Kiriko, but unfortunately, Kiriko was written in August, and this was where I was going to use Alari. Alari radiates warmth and healing energy through employing her solar rifle to capture the power of the sun. She may generate sunlight flares, which temporarily blind opponents while constantly repairing and improving fighters in her immediate area. Mercy, using her Valkyrie armor, Mercy flies into battle and offers those around her with angelic support. To shift the balance in their presence, she can resurrect deceased fighters and provide damage improvements and healing beams. And for Moira, having the capability to control biotic energy, Moira offers a unique blend of har harming and healing capabilities. And once an ally within range of her biotic grasp, she may employ her released biotic orbs to deal damage to foes or heal people over time. So guys, what did you think of Lucio? I am going to make a new Foes Appeared related announcement in March, because Lucio is the last Overwatch foe for now, because I'm going to give other franchises a chance, but really, I like what I did with Lucio. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on, so you don't miss another video like this one, and I will see you all in a future video. BB-8, out.